All right, guys, I'm going to uh, go over this video. I'm doing something called prime the pump. What I'm doing is I'm going to be eating nothing but beef for three weeks straight because I have been on the carnivore diet, but I've been doing um, more keto than carnivore. I've been slipping, slipping and sliding. And when you're slipping and eating those sugars, then it's like you're doing a reverse, a reversal of what you first set out to do. So I really want to heal myself and not begin to gain weight. Because what happens is when you first start on a carnivore diet, it goes well, you start feeling good, but then you get lackadaisical because you get tired of eating the same foods. But the only way you can see any healing is actually to stick to eating the same foods foods and then you'll begin to see the healing because what we want to do is allow the food to be everything that we need other than look the Lord in heaven you know so we want to just stick to the food so priming a pump means that you stick to eating only beef for three weeks only beef no other meats carnivore is all meats but you just eat only beef. You can eat beef in the form of burger or steak. Only beef for three weeks. You can have butter. You can have things like dairy butter. You can put cheese with it. You can have uh, unsweetened coffee, unsweetened teas. Um, beef, butter, eggs. That's it. Three weeks. Beef in the form of beef. Beef in the form of steak. Beef in the form of any type of beef. Now, if you have a sweet tooth, then you can have bacon. You can get thick cut bacon or you can eat beef jerky if you have a sweet tooth. Keep these things for a snack. You can make you some bacon or you can make you some uh, eat or eat you some dried beef, like a beef jerky or a beef snack. That's if you have a sweet tooth. No, there can be no sugar, no sugar. This is a no sugar diet, only steak, beef, good butter, good eggs, um, grass pasture raised eggs, and uh, unsweetened tea, unsweetened coffee, water. All your liquids have to be zero sugar, zero sugar. You can get lemon and lime and make you some uh water lemonade with lemon or lime but no sugar in it uh, so I'm going to be going to the store I'm going to give you my complete list of what I'm going to get uh, for dairy I'm going to show you my list here I'm going to put the list below for dairy these are all dairy items that you can get I'm going to read them all you can have sour cream and yes you can have yogurt you can have Greek yogurt or you can have coconut yogurt so that there's another snack for you if you just want to put some on your stomach. The sour cream is something you can add on your plate with your beef because you're going to get tired of eating the same thing for three weeks. So you may want to put some sour cream on the side of that. Um, you can also use heavy whipping cream along with the butter in your coffee because there's no sugar in a coffee. Heavy whipping cream or either butter. You can have black coffee with either butter or heavy whipping cream, or you can use them both if you feel like you need them both. Now, you can use cheese if you want to have cheese on your plate with your beef sometime. If you say, well, I want to add some cheese, I'm getting bored. The only cheeses that are welcome are mozzarella, parmesan, cheddar, goat cheese, feta cheese, cottage cheese, and the yogurts are Greek yogurt and coconut yogurt. No sugar added plain yogurt um for sweet cravings get you some thick cut bacon or either pork belly and you cut it up yourself um make sure it's cured or raw you can also get if you like pork sausage or chorizo you can get that for a snack beef jerky or dried beef snack that's a snack now as far as the uh cooking oil get something called g-h-e-e -E. it's called ghee it's, it's just butter but it's, it's hardened in a jar you can get butter or and it's unsalted uh, use tallow lard beef tallow lard 
and just regular old butter, the good butter that you get in the egg section. Oh yeah, for dairy, make sure you get you some pasteurized raised eggs because you may want to eat an egg with your beef because I'm going to be getting a lot of ground beef. I will get some steak cuts or some uh, roast cuts depending on the price in the store. But for three weeks, I'm mostly going to eat hamburger. On Sunday, I will say I want a steak on a Sunday or a roast on a Sunday or, you know, some some steak, you know, on a Sunday, on a weekend. On a weekend, you want, might want to eat a different type of a beef. But during the week, stick with hamburger for your meals. You know, other than the days that we're fasting, some days during the week we'll be fasting because I'm going to be fasting coming up here Tuesday. Now, if you can do it, if you're used to fasting, then do 16 or 24 hours starting out. You know, I'm doing 31 hours, but you, you can do either 16 or 24 hours if you're just starting out on fasting. But I'll talk about that later. Now, the drinks that you can have, you can have bone broth. You can make that from saving the bones of the steak and put the, you after you eat, put them all in a freezer so you can reboil them out, rinse them out and put them in a the freezer. Or you can buy you some bone broth if they sell it in a store. Um... Now, you can have coffee, black. I told you with butter, heavy whipping cream. Um, you can have for sauces, hot sauce, Tabasco sauce. You can use lime, uh, lemon. You can use real mayonnaise. This is for sauces. For teas, make sure they are either green or herbal flavors. No sugar. No sugar flavor. Make sure there's no sugar in it. Either green tea or herbal tea. Different kind of herbal teas. You can also get apple cider vinegar if you want to drink that or put it on something. Because I'm going to be using it to make my son coleslaw. That's the other two things that I buy at the store. If you have other family members and you want them to do the same diet because you want to heal yourself and they have some type of illness or disease in their body, get you some bags of coleslaw to give them a side that's a probiotic. And you use vinegar and real mayonnaise in the coleslaw. And you just keep it in a bowl and add it on the plate as you make the meat. Because sometimes they feel like, because you're not eating no bread, you can't make a hamburger sandwich with this with this beef. You're just going to eat the beef on the plate. You can add butter, you can add cheese, you can add sour cream, you can add the seasonings that I told you. But there's no grains, there's no sugars, uh, there's no carbs. The only vegetable you're eating is a pickle or coleslaw. A pickle on the side or a coleslaw. That's the only vegetable you're eating. Um, now, the end of April, we're going to add white meat. But right now, we're just going to do beef because I want you to heal and I want you to see how great you feel for three weeks. This is, this is April 1st is tomorrow. So the first three weeks of April is beef. Get mostly hamburger. You can get 70, 30, you can get 80, 20, you can get 90, 10. Get as much hamburger because that's what you're going to be eating during the week. Get your cheese that you like. Get your sour cream. Get your real mayo. Get your, get your uh, coleslaw and your pickle. And that's it. You know, I'm not going to be eating all of that. I'm just going to be eating my, my meat. Sometime I may put an egg on it. But I'll come on here and show you how I make my hamburger different ways. You know, don't get no grains, don't get no taco shells. Now, if you have to cook for your family and they're not doing the carnivore diet, then you have to spend more money because you're going to have to get those taco shells and those breads and all those other things. But get beef three whole weeks for you and the family. Beef. If, if you want to get them some other little additives, that's up to you. But I'm not doing it. My son is overweight. He's eating what I eat other than him eating some coleslaw on the side. And I'm not going to eat that. You know, I'm, I'm hoping not to be tempted with that. But he's eating exactly what I'm eating. I'm not buying no breads, no grains, and no sugars, and no snacks. So he's not getting that. Because this is what happened uh, on the carnivore that I've been doing now. I've been buying him some cookies. Oh, the other chip you can have uh, if you need a keto snack is pork skins. Pork skins is a keto snack if you feel like you need to be some kind of snack. Get some pork skins, pork rinds. That's a keto snack. Um, 
get some dry beef, beef jerky. Kids will eat that. They'll eat beef jerky. Get that. You know, they had a well-known called Chumps, but I hadn't seen it in the store. It's called Chumps. It's a good beef, beef jerky, but get a good beef jerky with a good flavor. Don't get don't get uh, the kind that's not, not good, you know. And uh, make sure you get you some salt and pepper for seasoning, some garlic powder. Uh, get the butter. Get plenty of butter, plenty of eggs, and plenty of beef. And, pl and get you a couple of bags of coleslaw. Get the real mayonnaise, okay? I'll put the list in the back of the video. This is for three weeks. Don't worry about buying sugar because you're not going to be using it in nothing. And don't bring it in the house for the kids. Because I'm going to tell you something. People don't know what's making them, giving them arthritis, giving them different cancers and diseases and different illnesses in their body. It's the sugar. But if you make a good conscious decision that you're going to stay straight on a diet with me here and learn to eliminate the taste out of your mouth, the taste for that sweetness. And then when you're going out in public, walk fast. Don't let people tempt you to eat it. You're going to make it. Don't be tempted by it. If you know that I'm trying to stick to a way of eating and this is going to be my downfall, then I can't be tempted by it. And I can't let nobody say, oh, try this. Take No, no, thank you. I've already had my lunch. No, thank you. I've already had this. No, thank you. I'm not interested. You're going to, know, you're going to learn how to say no and keep going to the sweets because that's what's messing with us. Okay? Beef, three weeks. This is Persian. We're going to eat it three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're going to do that at least the first or second week. I want you to eat it three times a day, even if you have to eat it in small amounts. Because I want you to get I want you to get the health and the healing of it. It's called priming the pump. You're going to eat it three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A small amount of beef. A small amount of beef. Now, when you get tired, you can go down to two times a day, maybe in the third week. But the first or second week, you need to eat it three times a day. Your body needs that healing because maybe one day a week we might fast. We're definitely going to be working out because you're just eating straight protein. You know, we're definitely going to maybe work out one day, only one day a week because you're going to be working on walking. Get that fit out on your phone. Get your steps up to 3,000 a day. That's all I want you to do. Get your steps up to 3,000 a day or go to 5,000. I'm, I'm, I'm getting up. To, I have to do 10,000 steps a day for my weight. I have to do 10,000, but um, I haven't done 10,000 in a while, but I try, you know, so get your uh, Google Fit app on there so you can do your walking because the only exercise I'm going to be doing is probably some arms or some sit-ups every now and then. So you'll see me come on here with doing some arm reps and some sit-ups. You're going to walk for your cardio. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to put the grocery list in the back. Three weeks beef, all types of beef, hamburger, ribeye, pot roast, get your butter, get your eggs, get you some um, whatever kind of milk you like. If you want almond or coconut milk, get that. If you want regular uh, cow's milk, whatever milk you like, Make sure there's no sugar, lactose-free. If you're going to get a cow milk, make sure it's lactose-free milk because it has no sugar when it says lactose-free, okay? And if you get a coconut or almond, make sure it's plain with no sugar. All right, talk to you later. Heavy whipping cream for the coffee and butter. Bye-bye.